Okay, for vacuum, starting a deep vacuum, you need to know your baseline and your limitations of your equipment. Like I've always told you, your limitations of using a manifold for vacuum is one of the biggest bottlenecks of your limitations with rubber refrigerant hoses. So right now, as you can see, between 57 and it's jumping up to 71, 57 down a lot. This is moisture bubbling out and contamination inside the refrigerant hose. But I know this is, I cannot get any lower. If this is what the limitation of just having my hoses are, then there's no way for me to get even lower inside the system once I connect these fittings to the system. You see, they're not screwed down yet. They're still not attached. I'm only drawing vacuum in the hoses because I need to know what my vacuum pump can do. I need to know what my equipment can do. Then you can start pulling your vacuum and see what your system's capable of doing. But until you get to this point, we're at 57, 56 microns, now we could start evacuating because we know there's no massive leak inside our system with any of the seals anywhere that is gonna prevent us getting down. If you do this same test and you're getting down to like 6,000, 7,000, 5,000 microns and you can't get below that and you're not connected yet, you haven't screwed down, then you know you have a problem somewhere in your hoses, your crimps, your O-rings, your seals, somewhere you have a leak. So every time on every job, always pre-test your equipment prior to connecting it. So now I'm gonna connect it, so let's connect it. There we go. We'll connect it and we'll see it jump up there. Come on, jump. There it goes. Way, it's, it's shot up so far. See, there's 7,000 over there. It literally jumped off the screen. There's a little section of time where the broke the vacuum, went to the system, and it went up to ambient, basically almost ambient uh, pressure, and then dropped down immediately right there within that time. We're already at 1,100 microns. So I opened it up to the system, and you see where it's at right now, and it's coming down quickly. We're already, uh, from when I opened it, right there to there, we're almost 60 seconds. And in 60 seconds, we're about 722 microns within 60 seconds. Okay, boom, from there. If you could see, if you follow the line up from the four minute mark, and you go straight up the line, you notice I'm like at 58 or 57 seconds just before the four minute mark when I opened it up. And you see here's the five minute mark right here. So from here to here is one minute. In one minute, 617 microns. So your system should be able to duplicate and do the same thing if everything is perfect. But what do you notice here? You do notice I have a silicone hose. It's three quarters of an inch made out of silicone. This is impermeable. Impermeable. God dang it, I can't say that word. Uh, and you'll see we're approaching the 500 micron mark in, where are we going? One minute, we're approaching, okay. In less than two minutes, we haven't even got to the six mark. In less than two minutes, we went under 500 microns. But that is measuring from inside the manifold gauge. That's not measuring from the system itself. All right, I'll jump on to the next video. Let me uh, continue doing my paperwork on this one. But I just wanted to show because new subscribers probably haven't seen my further videos back where I show that you have to prove what your gauges and your system can do before you hook it up to the system and actually tie it into the system. Otherwise, if you can't read the microns going down below 7,000 microns, 5,000 with it not attached, you'll, you'll never get any further with it attached. You have to take care of your problem first which will be somewhere in your system.